little anger, man. Hi. Does your family enjoy trap shooting? Well, ours does. <laughs> we decided to up our game. Just watch this video and see how we did it. Yay, Charlotte. Okay, so I found this automatic trap thrower. It's fairly old, but well made. It works, but what we need to do is add automatic side to side and up and down movement. So I'm going to show you that next. What we have is the thrower portion itself. As you saw in the uh, earlier part of the video, this is a good old heavy duty unit made by Acorn Company in England. They're still in business. Um, this is really heavy duty. It's a tubular steel frame, all welded, steel end plates, and it's got a, uh, a good heavy top cast uh, top plate. Aluminum throwing arm, and I'm getting a new uh, friction strip for that right now. A good solid steel launch plate. Now, if you do much trap shooting, you know that um, <clears throat> you know in regulation <clears throat> your uh, trap is going to randomly throw the targets out. So you're gonna you're gonna want rotation and um, inclination. To vary on this thing and if you bought one of these thrower just the thrower itself like from Cabela's um, you'd have about 300 or so in the thrower and then you can buy the wobble base uh, for another 300 something like that and I guarantee it won't be this this well made so <clears throat> what are we going to do about that obviously uh, as usual we're we're not just going to go out and buy one from uh, Acorn does make a wobble base um, probably several hundred dollars more than the uh, what you could buy from Cabela's so what we've done over here is got our our base that came with it which is just a uh, fabricated sheet metal, sheet steel um, bracket basically. And I went to the parts bin and collected up some things that I thought we could use as well as uh, fabricated everything else that uh, we were going to need here. Now this is a totally unique design that I came up with. Um, using again parts that I was able to gather just for the fun of it and the the thing that I wanted here was the ones you buy like from Cabela's if you notice some of them the uh, they, they have a track here that's like a roller coaster well that's going to just follow the same um, you know pattern all the time and uh, <clears throat> the rotation and the angle is probably going to uh, repeat itself quite a bit and I wanted to make sure that that we would have total totally random movement here so I think I've uh, accomplished that um, Again, <clears throat> sticking with uh, our theme of heavy duty, this is uh, a front wheel hub bearing assembly off my three quarter ton pickup, so I think that's going to be heavy enough. I just happened to change bearings and kept one of those. Got some old road sign post here that was laying around, so that's going to be our our, uh, our legs for the base. Um, <clears throat> the one thing I did have to buy, two things I bought, I needed a gear that would 
mesh with with this portion of the ring gear so this was eight bucks on eBay and uh, I didn't have a motor but so I went to the you uh, pull it yard and got a uh, windshield wiper motor out of a 2000 Jeep Cherokee and these work great because they have a lot of internal gear reduction already so I wanted this um, to move slowly and that's going to take care of a lot of the speed reduction so um, you know it's basically two independent um, cranks that are driven off a single input shaft and you'll see how this all goes together and we're gonna see how it works all right
So there you have it, folks. Now all that's left is to go out and have some fun with us.